Yo, yo, what's going on, people? Boss Man CNB Outdoors back at you with another video. How y'all doing out there today, man? Woo, man, it's been a it's been a rough week for me, man. These last couple of weeks, man, we we done had like two two weeks of rain, and then right after that, man, I had some some family issues going on. Y'all rem y'all remember my old cousin, the one that put the put the fence up. Up there at the property, try to shit everybody out. He back at it again. So I've been, I've been back and forth up to East Texas and Palestine, trying to trace his steps, to try to see what 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 kind of shady stuff they up there doing. I done, I done had to go to the county clerk office. I had to go to the tax office, man. I, I had to go to the lawyer, but they still at it, man. So I had to go up there, man, and and put my eyes on some paperwork and stuff and. He done added his name to, to some paperwork and trying to make it look like he, he done paid the taxes and got old Grizz out here with me. Look at him. He trying to trying to find something he can run. Look at him. Trying to find something he can chase after. Look at him. But yeah, man, I, whoo, this is going to be a never ending battle, man, until we get this uh, property uh, divided. But y'all don't know what kind of people I'm dealing with, man, but y'all check out this little clip and uh, y'all see what I'm talking about. I have deeds from 19, I don't know. Alicia Melvin is no detective. This matters to me. But she might as well be. After pointing Lancaster police to Belinda and Anthony Tucker, now accused of fraudulently transferring nine property deeds worth over a million bucks to themselves. Property that rightfully belongs to the estate of Arnold Young, a former DISD employee who died in February. I want you to do something about this. Tucker spoke to me in 2019 days after a neighbor shot her several times. Police in Lancaster say the neighbor cut Tucker off in her car and opened fire because a lien had been placed on his home due to an unpaid HOA bill. Tucker's husband, the HOA president. Literally, that took me down the hole. Melvin read that story while investigating the Tuckers herself. She's an attorney representing the estate of Arnold Young, who left nine properties to his family worth $1.1 after he died this year. But when someone renting one of those homes missed a rent check, Melvin and police found out someone else suddenly owned the property and the eight others left behind. They all had the exact same deed, the exact same language, notarized by Belinda Tucker herself. Police say the deeds were transferred to a company that Tucker's owned called Mutual Freedom. When confronted, court documents read that Tucker told police that Young signed over the residences to her business, but was unable to show any evidence she had a relationship with the deceased outside of having his phone number. Tucker didn't respond when WFAA called her. Someone can steal your property by just going down to the recorder of deeds today signing, creating a deed document of some sort and recording it with the clerk. Melvin says better oversight is needed as the Tuckers await their day in court. In Lancaster, I'm Matt Howerton. All right, man. You better let go. Let the guys know you didn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, man. You too, man. This is where the house used to be. They done pushed it over. They came through, they done widened the driveway, talking about they supposed to bring in a, 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 a mobile home. I don't know who tractor this is. They done hired somebody, somebody left a tractor up here.
And this here is behind the house going up on the hill. They done had this hill widen. I guess they posed, they supposed to be bringing a mobile home up this hill right here. And they done cleared this part off over here, up on the hill behind the house. <clears throat> and they done put a, they done made it flat right here. So I guess that's what they call themselves gonna put it right here. But hey, if they want to spend all their money up here doing work that ain't that they ain't got no business, hey, more power to them. But, but man, I got some more boxes, man. I got some more boxes in, man. We about to open some more boxes, and uh, y'all stay tuned, man. We're gonna dive right in. But all right, people, I got got a box right here, a package, and I got a box over here. So y'all ready to see what it is? Y'all ready? Y'all sure y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready. Don't be looking at my ashy hand either. Bam! There it is, people. There it is, people. Yes, sir. There it is. We got a package over here. Let's see what's in this package right here. Trying to hold the camera and open this here at the same time. Let's see what this is. If I can get it out of here with one hand. Come on, package. Get on out of there. There it is. Got that quick release, quick release bracket. Got the bracket for it. And right here, Got the mount for the kayak. This here going to buy the kayak, and I got this here from. Uh, let's see if I got a name in here somewhere. That's my paperwork for my kayak. This is where I got this mount from right here. I'm sure a lot of y'all know who this is. Got the mount, got the kayak mount for my old town 132, big water. This the trolling motor. That's the trolling motor bow mount. So that's it, people. I'm ready. How my boy, how my boy D Frazier say, I'm ready. Slide that on in now. Close all that up. Don't lose nothing. And I'm ready. But yeah, man, I'm ready to rock and roll, man.
But uh man, this here this that Riptide uh Tarova eye pilot and uh this not this is not the trolling motor that I actually wanted, but for some reason right now, man, it's it's hard to put your hands on the trolling motor, so you gotta kinda get what you can get. But I mean this is this is this is a good trolling motor, but it's not the one that I was gonna get. The one that I was gonna get was the uh power drive and they saying you can't you probably won't get now one of them until the first of the year. If if then so this here was the next uh, best thing and this here is a 54 inch shaft uh 12 volt 50 55 pound thrust and uh for my kayak i'm gonna have to cut the shaft down a lot of these shafts that they're going with on the kayaks they're cutting them down to like 36 inches so once i get this here out the box and uh get it on my kayak i'm gonna decide how i'm gonna, uh how much i'm gonna cut off of mine but uh i seen one video where a guy uh he cut his down to 40 so because they got some kind of uh they got some kind of shackle down at the bottom that's like three inches so to make up that difference you have to cut the shaft a little bit longer so he cut his at 40 so i might cut mine at 42. but uh but let's but let's open the box man let's see what it look like y'all stay tuned Just cut the whole box. I'll start from down here. Hopefully I won't have to return it after I done cut this box open. And I got it upside down. Well, they got it upside down. Hope I ain't done tow up nothing. What is this? So I got the head up there.
This joker is, man, this joker is heavy. This joker is heavy. Well, here we go, people. This feels, and that feels pretty solid right there, that motor. Man, this joker, this joker feel like it's made like a tank. It's the 54 inch shaft. Got the got the iPilot GPS system, Bluetooth. Got the fifty five pound thrust, twelve volt. Got the remote. This your remote right here. Cool. And this that uh this I don't I forgot what this here is called, but This is what you have to make the difference, make the difference uh, up on the shaft because this here is like three or four inches. So instead of cutting the shaft at 36, you will have to cut it at 40 to make up for this difference right here. And uh, this here is like an adjustment for the uh, for the shaft, so you can really adjust the shaft by sliding this here up and down. But you don't want to be on your you don't want to be on your kayak with a 54 inch shaft sticking up in the air. So that's why they just go ahead and cut it down. But this here is is really an adjustment for the shaft. So what is we got the we got the hardware kit look like a look like it's a lanyard in there for the remote got a sticker and here goes here goes the prop this here's supposed to be a new a new uh, weedless weedless prop called the wedge two supposed to be weedless and uh i really want to open this up and see what kind of plugs what kind of plugs it has so i know what kind of power plug to uh buy for the kayak I don't know what this plug goes to. That look like that look like a plug that goes to your uh to your head to your head unit to your fish finder. And uh, this your uh, positive and negative that goes to your battery 
or to your power plug, to your power plug, then to your battery. So, so now that I see that it don't have a plug on the end, it just have, it just have these connectors on the end, so I can just buy, I can just buy whatever kind of plug I want to buy and just splice it, splice it into these. But Minn Kota got their own plug. So I might buy their plug because it's, it's flat. It don't stick up like some of them other plugs. Some of them other plugs, when you mount it on your kayak, it stick up about that high. And I don't like that. Minn Kota got one that lay flat. It's about like that. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you in a minute. But yeah, man, that's it, man. Your boy Red Dad. So from what I've been reading, this to this to Rover, when it comes to spot locking, I heard it works, it works uh very well. And uh I heard some of the other guys say. That's about all it's good for is spot lock. So, hey, that's all I need it for. So, as long as it keep me on them brush piles where I can tear them crappie up, hey, hey, that's all I need. And uh, it'll get me back and forth to the fishing hole with that 55 pound thrust. I got this other gadget coming that I can put in my uh, in the floor of my kayak where the uh, pedal drive go. I can take that pedal drive out and I can put this, uh, it's called a dry storage, but you can put it in the same place where that pedal drive go and it'll keep that water from coming in. So, I'm getting it together, man. I'm getting it together. I know it's about to be winter, but hey, hey, fish, fish bite in the winter too, man. This your release right here. And they got a got a battery meter right there. Let you know how much battery life you got. And uh gonna make it work, man. Gonna make it work. But yeah, man, that's it, man. I just been getting ready been ordering i've been ordering everything i need and uh i'm just getting you know pieces getting pieces here and there coming in i got some lights coming i got some led lights coming i got some some navigation lights coming and you know just different stuff different little gadgets and stuff uh what else i got coming uh lights Oh, I got some batteries coming. I got a, I got a hundred amp hour coming. I got a fifty amp hour coming, and uh, I'll tell you the name of those once they get here. And uh, I got some new rods from a sponsor that I got to try out. So, but I got a lot of things shaking, man. A lot of things coming. I'm gonna try to get on that water soon, man. But that's it, man. But y'all stay tuned, man, and uh. Y'all be on the lookout, man. I'm about to hit that water real soon. I don't know if, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get all this stuff set up, but I'm still going to fish in the meantime, so y'all stay tuned, man. I'm out of here. Peace.